Welcome to Eden Dark and the 1993 Tyrone Senior and Minor Football Championship Finals. We're just join us just as the minor game is about to start. Michael Hughes, the referees, getting the players organised. The teams contesting this final today, of course, are Dungannon and Oma. Both are lined out as selected uh, in the official programme. Uh, Oma, Kieran McDade and goals, Kieran Drum, Declan McGuire, Gary McKenna, Paul Tierney, Raymond Mc McKinney, Stephen Colton, and the game's on. Dungana move on to the attack first. Oma cornerback, Kieran Drum clears the ball, but it falls to James Dorn. Dorn into his corner forward. Kaha Lachran. A high attempt. Came out dead, kicks the ball out. Breaks around the middle of the field and moves in towards the Oma goals where Shane Tiger picks it up. Free out. It'll be Declan McGuire to take this. One of a number of Tyrone Minor players on duty today. Declan, a poor kick out. And Donnell McSorley, Biggie Hughes blows for the first free of the game, or the second free of the game, I should say, and it'll be uh, Nell McSorley to take this, about 21 metres out, just to the left of the post. The wind actually coming slightly across the pitch, so he'll be kicking directly into the breeze, right footed. Curls it neatly over. So Roma take, take the lead after three minutes. Eddie McCurry with a kick out now for Dungannon. Curry sends it out to centre field. Jared Cavillan underneath it, collects it nicely. Gets his free. Plays it in early. Mark Rogers going for it, misses it. And now it's Dungannon's turn to get the, a free. It'll be Cavillan taking this. Cavillan, of course, scored seven points last week in Croke Park. Let's see if he can keep up that standard. Probably slightly the wrong side for him, but it shouldn't be too difficult, about 21 metres out. Oh, and Cavillan curls that one wide of the mark. So it's still Oma. That slender advantage. Nine ball to Dungannon. Declan Hughes to take it, sends it in towards the Yoma goal mouth. McGuire underneath it. He's out past two tackles, challenged by two defend two uh, Dungan the Tigers. Michael Hughes wants to have a word with him about that. Declan settles himself. Hoist the high one. He's off the side of his boot somewhat and breaks to around the middle of the field area. That'll be Paul Tierney, the captain, sends it up. Michael O'Neill. O'Neill told Han, sends it along and it seems to be caught after the ball goes and Michael Hughes certainly, that's his interpretation of it. So another free in for Uma. Again it'll be McSorley to take it. The opposite wing from his earlier successful effort. Again. Not the ideal side for a right-footed kicker, but he clips it in nicely. And successfully, so two points for McSorley, two points for Roma. And about six minutes gone. Now 
obviously Dungannon and Omer, two of the two of the teams in the county with the proudest tradition at this level. Long list of successes to their credit. He'll win today now. Stephen White sends it in for Cahill Lochran. Lochran getting seen a bit of the ball at this early stage to Colton, Kieran Colton now. He manages to get his toe to it. Barry Morgan. Morgan feeds it out to Cavlin. Cavlin gets right footed shot and it touched. Touched clear by. And it's Declan Hughes who finally finishes it off. Good save that by Kieran McDade, but Declan Hughes was there to pick up the pieces and send it over. So, first point from play, Dungannon's first point. McDade out to centre field. Gurry goes up for it, but it's Stephen White who gets it. James Dorn with a sideline kick for Dungannon. Some movement in front of him. That's Colton. Colton loses the ball, however, and it's Barry and and another foul after the ball's delivered. And another free for Roma. Now McSorley, 100% <coughs> record so far, but this is certainly the most difficult kick he's had to attempt so far. Poaching. 40 metres out. Comes up, right footed. Hits it quite well, it's got the distance. Square ball, says Michael Hughes. And then you can get the game started quickly. It's Paul Coton, but he's beaten to the ball. Well challenged there by Raymond McKenna. McKenna to McKenna. McKenna to Gallagher. Gallagher sends it in. It's McSorley underneath it. Ball beats him, however, and it's the Roland Campbell who wins that exchange. Foul. Free out. Looking for Calvin. Calvin wins the ball well. Now we'll see if he can make ground. Galloping forward. Calvin. McKinney behind him, but isn't getting to him yet. Calvin draws the free. he take this himself, I'm sure. And he does. The score's now level. So approaching 10 minutes, Kieran McDade kicks the ball out, gets good distance under this one. It's Kieran McCurry goes up, but again it's McKinney who wins it. McKinney feeds the ball in. McSorley adds to it. Mark Barry Eccles. Eccles loses the ball, however. Well cleared, again it's Cavlin. Cavlin under pressure, gets it to Hughes. Hughes, however, loses the ball and it goes to Shane Taggart. Taggart feeds it out wide. And Yetta goes inside, outside his man, still in Yetta. Well blocked, however, but so must still have the pressure on. Corner forward, Paul O'Neill. Michael O'Neill. Michael O'Neill turns, sends in a good ball. So again, square ball infringement. Now it's Cavlin on the wing. Challenged. Cavlin take us himself. Plays it square to his midfield partner, McCrory. Son of the Tyrone. Senior manager, Art McCrory. Ball breaks, however. Slightly scrappy. McCrory's battling away, but he's deemed to have fouled his opponent there. So free kick to him. Terry Gallagher to take this one out of his hands. Hoist it in. Ball's breaking clear. Finally finds his way to, to again Kevin John McNulty. He's fouled. Plays it low along the ground. Hughes certainly been involved in the early stages of this game. But it's Shane, Stephen Colton who gets it in. Colton again the ball breaks loose. Can get on clearing their legs now. Hoisted away. Superior sustained pressure here by Oma. David McKenna now with this free kick. Yeah. 
Kenna. Wave back to somewhere outside the 45 meter line. Left footed. High and hopeful. No result for Oma there. So still two each. Breeze picking up now. It's blowing almost directly across the pitch at this stage. Not really favouring either team. That's Paul Colton now gets the ball. Looks for Gal Lochran. Lochran inside his marker. Seems to be hauled back. Another free to Nungannon. Gavlin, I'm sure, will try his hand at this one. About 35 metres out. Gavlin places the ball. Difficult day for free taking. Wind blowing directly across the pitch. Very threatening clouds. Sure, we could see a bit of rain before this game's over. Miss Gavlin clips it up, but well wide of the mark. Indeed. Sends it out. McCrory goes up for it. But it's won by, by Shane Taggart. Well won there. Sort of stop start sort of game so far. Tiger. That's McStorley. McStorley hit hard but retains possession. Gets away from his marker. Good run now by Tiger. Score both almost points so far. Both from freeze. Masanyata. All right. And he co connects well. Sends it over right footed. Oh my captain. Right footed. Getting good distance in his kicks. St Stephen White. Used to be in foul. Looks to Kieran Colton. Colton. Long delivery. McGuire going for that. But it's Morgan. Morgan, a fisted pass inside. Kieran Cahill Lachran. Throws one across the face of the goal. He's chases it, but it's gone wide. Gavlin goes for it. But it's only the one at. Paul O'Neill feeds it inside to McKenna. McKenna on the run now. Foul. Sorry, will make his way out to take this one. Yet to settle. 15 minutes gone. McSorley, two points already. Looking for his third. Typical round the corner style. Gets underneath it all right, but sends it away to the mark. Lips it in. Curry comes out, but he's beaten to the ball and it just goes narrowly wide. Curry really didn't know a lot about that. Michael O'Neill very nearly stole in for a, for a goal for Oma, but fortunately for Dungannon, the ball broke just the wrong side of the post. That's going to be a, a relieved Eddie McCurry who takes this kick out. It's kicked quite well, the Dungannon keeper. Goes to White. White grounded. Takes the kick short. All right. His kick's blocked down, however, but goes to Locker. Locker neatly left it. That's inside. Still carrying the ball. Still moving forward. Now it's Rogers. Rogers held off by two Oma players illegally, says Michael Hughes. So again, Calvin makes his way over. See if he can level matters now. Connects this time. Straight over the black spot. So three points each. 19 minutes gone. McDade. Gets it out of the middle of the field. Ball breaks white. A surely challenge for it. Maybe he's think probably hop this ball. Yes, indeed, that's what he's going for. Goes it up. Ball breaks, no, 
Attempt to get it clear, but it's Colton. Colton wins a free. Again, it'll be Cavlin. Maybe he's found the range. Perhaps you could see see some more scores for the Gannon man. Obviously, the outstanding, outstanding minor this year. Certainly for the county team. She had to really st stamp his authority on this game, and everybody's he's got a chance here to record another point. Right footed. Connects well. That's two points in the space of two minutes from Calvin. That moves them again into the lead. Four points to three. First time that they've had that advantage. Almost directly across the pitch. If anything, it's slightly favouring Dungana. Good, however, connects well with that. McCrory, well fielded. Then to Rogers. Rogers has been somewhat anonymous so far, but now he gets gets his first chance to run at the defence. Will Hughes gives a free out there. It'll be Daglam McGear to take it. Ayanara, O'Neill, flicks it on. There's a chance. That's for Uwe now to make progress. David McKenna. Oh, he should have carried that ball in. Should have carried that in. Had plenty of space in front of him. So he'd go for his shot for some range. Where's McCurry? For Cavlin. He wins it. Well played. Under pressure. <coughs> Gets his free. Looks for Lachlan. Michael, three. Well, after he delivered that ball to Hughes. Cavlin again. Cross to Hughes. Hughes has been involved as anybody in this game so far. That's McCrory. He decides to let the ball run. And ball for it. Morgan. Morgan under pressure. Wait. There's some of the breakaway. Good tackling by the home of defence now. Calvin trying to keep the pressure on. Swings it across. Again, it's locker underneath it, but it's here in Drum now. Drum. Oh, a poor clearance by Drum now. He's not happy with that himself. So then Gannon turn the screws once again. Jared Calvin. Throws it right across the face of the goal. Mark Rogers. Rogers and McGear go for it. Makes clear. Way ball. Did. Colton. Outside to White. White's kick half charge down. That challenge a bit, challenge a bit too hefty for Michael Hughes' leg on. Where's the free Dolma? Colton. Colton. Well blocked by Hughes. Here's O'Neill. Paul. He used to say he overcarried that ball. Bit of an altercation there between Colton and Hughes. Nothing too serious. Still, Dungan beginning to build up a bit of a pressure now. Slowly but surely, John McNulty, their captain, with this kick. On the wing, it's Rogers underneath that, but McGarry beats him to it. Goes to Morgan. Morgan fouled by Kieran Drum. Just kick quickly. To McCrory. McCrory to Rogers. That's well broken three there by James Dorn. That's a good point, probably the best point of the game so far. Opens up a two point gap now. Dungannon not five. Oma not three. Coming up to the 25th minute. Dungannon beginning to impose some authority in this game. Beginning to get the upper hand at midfield, putting Oma under some pressure. He did. Another kick out to the middle of the field. Again, White picks it up. It's figured very prominently so far. Lachlan, Violet McSorley. 
Shorty come back deep into his own half to try and win possession. That's Michael O'Neill. He moves it into the middle. There's Paul. Paul's a judge to. Good clearance by McCrory. McCrory. Under pressure from Taggart. Gets us in the side of Doran. Doran. Clears it up to Colt. Colt to White. White making ground. Making ground. Sends it in, but McDade's underneath that. Feels it comfortably. Good clearance to McKenna. McKenna to O'Neill. O'Neill being fouled by Ronan Campbell. Gets his free kick. It's Barry Eccles. Eccles tries to cut across, but shot. Going nowhere. Eventually a 45 results. Three minutes to go before half time. Their full back. Declan McGuire with this kick. Doubt very much if he can go directly for a score. Didi doesn't, plays it short to Paul Tierney. Tierney back to McGuire. It's a good effort and goal by McGuire. Just floats to the wrong side of the post, but that was a, that was a good effort. Garrett has to make his way all the way back now to his, the heart of the home of defence. Curry will kick it. It's good distance. Curry's underneath this one. Wins it well. Slides the kick across the field. McNulty's there. McNulty moving forward. Still McNulty. But he's outside him. Looks for him. But well, that's well intercepted. Because James Dorn intercepts that. Gets his free. Dorn. To Morgan. McNulty, but McNulty's beaten to it by McKenna. McKenna gets a free. Very stop start game so far. Paul breaks. Kel McSorda. There's Niall McSorda. Dollar Donnelly has no problem cutting that one out. He's out to Colton. Colton. Got Cavlin inside him. Looks for him, finds him. Now Cavlin. Got a chance to move forward. Space, plenty of space in front of him. Gets his strike in and goal. Sends it wide. Won't have time to take it. Michael Hughes calls the first half to a halt. Damon O'Hagan, the senior star, we all know the story. But Damon O'Hagan also is a very outstanding minor. It's a unique record of playing for four years for Tyrone. And during that time, Damien, you also played for your club, the Fena, in a county final. What are your memories of playing in a county minor final? The memories of that game was in 1975, and we went there as real hot favourites against the Dremor team that we didn't know much about. But we knew a lot about them before we came home because they won the game easily. And uh, But it was one of the biggest occasions in my footballing career that day in 1975, and I look back on it with foreign memories, even though we didn't win the match. Right. Well, today we have two of the, the top youth clubs in the county, Dunyan and Clarks and almost St Endes playing in the minor final. What are your views on the first half, Damien? Well, so far in the first half there hasn't been uh, much pattern in the game. There's a, a breeze here, a strong enough breeze, and it doesn't seem to be really favouring anyone. But my feeling on the game at the minute, Dungan are beginning to get on top, but they're not pushing enough ball into Mark Rogers, and at the same time, Mark Rogers, the throne full forward, isn't timing his runs from the square. He seems to be on top of the player before he kicks. If he, I feel if he stayed back and, and uh, Dungan used him more as a target man, it would be better for them. So you're looking forward to a close second half then? 
Oh, I think it'll be a close second half. Omar, Omar have all to play for, both teams of course have, but uh, Dungan, Young McCrory in middle of the field and Calvin seem to be getting on top of the middle of the field. Uh, Calvin seems to be kicking, he's a top county minor and, and has played well and his form has been very good this year and he's even playing senior football for Dungan. Now, I think he has to stamp his authority on the game. Well, thank you very much, Damien. Michael Hughes gets the second half underway. That's Kay McCrory, wins the first ball. Foul. Nice it in, looking for Rogers, but it'll be McGuire wins this one, clears it out. O'Neill. Into McKenna. Kind of lifts it. Foul. No, says Michael Hughes. Yes, says Michael Hughes eventually. Early free for Oma. McKenna certainly felt that challenge. Picks himself up. Take this one out of his hands. 45 metres out. Sends it in right footed. As Oliver Donnelly clears his lines. Game's on again now. Can I? Again hoisted in. Again bounces dangerously across. That'll be a 45. Bouncing, hopping dangerously around the Dungan Goldmouth. The wind begin to freshen. Swirling about. No great advantage to either team, but Miguel trying to get somebody to have one well. Good covering by the Fingan defence, but it's Oliver Donnelly's a judge to have lifted that ball off the ground. Michael Hughes right in the spot, it'll be McSorley to take this kick. Thanks about taking it quickly. Sides against it, however. Shouldn't pose too many problems. Strides up, right footed, clips it neatly over the bar. So Oma open their account in this second half. Trail now by just one point. Stungan not five, Oma not four. Four minutes gone. Eddie McCurry. Kicked well in the first half, still kicking well in this half. Kenna keeps the pressure on. Paul and Eli got a little nudge in the back. Gets his free. Look for Ackles at full forward again. This one, I'm sure. Dr. Gallagher. Taggart. It's another 45. Here comes Declan McGuire again. All the way from full back. Up to the other 45 meter line. Raymond McKenney makes his way back to cover. To cover Rogers while McGuire tries his hand at this kick. Five or six yards to the left of the Dungan and Post, 45 metres out. Clips it in. Then Dungan defend well at this stage. That's Colton. Rogers. Rogers tries to help that one on. Well, we're covering quite well. Nice, Jared Calvin. Calvin breaks one three one tackle. Kick half block down. <coughs> Michael Hughes decided that that was a free. It'll be Calvin to take it, I'm sure.
Game was very stop start still. No great pattern. It's been on Gannon's first real chance of a score in the second half. Jared Cavlin. No problem at all to Jared. Yeah, out to centre feed. Corey goes for it. Staff and Taggart tangling. Line ball to Oma. Taggart will take this one. Size I guess it gives it to McKenna. McKenna. Raymond. Bit of a waste of one that. Puts it straight back out again. Back to McNulty. McNulty under Rogers. Rogers doesn't get it, however. That's Kieran Drum. Drum feeds it out. Both pulling and dragging. Gallagher. Uh, Oliver Donnelly. McSorley. And in fact, it's Dorn. To Rogers. Rogers inside to Colton. Dorn again. It's got an excellent point in the first half. Back to back to Colton. Just flying in thick and fast. Put a shirt tug in there. And we're trying to break the, the hole that the Gannon managed to exert so far. Stephen Colton. McKenna. And he breaks through two tackles. Nice one in high. That's Michael O'Neill underneath that one. Hands it breaks to Gallagher. And a challenge with two Dungan players for Ian. This is Michael Hughes. He's been kept quite busy so far this afternoon. As is Niall McSorley, the Oma free taker. He's collected three points so far in the game. He'll be looking for his fourth. Try and close the gap down to a point once again. About 35 metres out. Two steps to the side. He's in, right footed. Doesn't get under it very well, however. And you only get a chance to clear their legs. Right the wing to Paul Coulter. Paul can't stop it running out, however, and it's Paul Tierney who puts the ball back in again. And Yada. Yada. Neatly through. Bit of a slash down by Jared Cavlin. There, and it'll be. Surely he moves his way across to take this free. Opposite side to the, to the last one. Bit closer in, however. Not the ideal side for for a right-footed kicker, of course. Takes his time about placing it. Kicking right into the breeze. Ask the referee if he can adjust the placing of the ball. Gets permission. I'm sorry now. Right-footed. Slides it, slides it to the right of the post, however. Sends it out again towards the centre. Where he tries to flick it on, but eventually manages to do so to John McNulty. Again, the ball breaks. Oh, hacking and pulling. Not much progress being made. Michael Hughes decides he wants to hop this ball, throw it up. Didn't get to win it. Clear their legs now. Cahal Larkin now. Cahal. Feeds it into Coulter. Coulter speculated his lad when McDade nearly made a mess of that, but recovers well. Clears so everyone goes as far as Kieran Colton. Promptly sends it over and extends. Didn't get his lead to three points now. Making better use of the opportunity, certainly in the second half. McNulty. Michael O'Neill. Michael. 
Or should Marion Yatta? All right, gets down the ball. Right in the corner. Tries to get inside his man, but he's beaten. Beaten by Dorn. Dorn's played quite well. Gets his free. That's for Jared Cavlin, but a little bit. Open defender up. Gary McKenna, who wins that tussle. Long ball to Dungannon. Dorn. Well blocked down. Taggart. High and hopeful. Kneel under it. Eventually it breaks to Oh McNulty. Right now to Oliver Donnelly. Only gets good distance that clearance. Mark Rogers being kept well in check by Declan McGuire. Illegally, however. And Jude Cavlin gets another opportunity. Close to 40 metres out this one. You can convert it however it'll give. You can get a four point lead. Slides it to the right of the post, however. Ron McCampbell, however, seems to be able to continue. McGear with a kick out. The Hughes wasn't happy with, with something in around the Oma Go mouth there. Wants a kick. Take it from further right, it'll be Declan. Take this one out of his hands. Sends it out to the middle of the park. Calvin gets underneath it, but it's beaten. Stephen Colton. Colton. Well, eventually comes out to Paul O'Neill. Paul and McSorley. McSorley across the face of the gang goes to Ackles. Ackles gets the ball up. Still Ackles, left footed. Skates along the ground, but very clears that well. Too strong for Calvin, but it'll be. Little nudge in the back there by Cahill Lochran. James Doran coming. Oh, yeah, it's Kieran McCurry now. Again, looks for Lochran. Lochran wins this one. Cuts inside his man. Cuts inside the second over defender. Grounded. Then get the ball out to. Colleague, and so many now. Taggart clears his legs. Now McSorley underneath this one. Comes off his chest, however. Can't regain it. It's John McNulty. McNulty to Barry Morgan. Ball beats Barry, however. That's Kieran's own. You know, they aren't allowing anything past their half back length so far. This ball coat, coater, kick back down. Uh, McKenna. McKenna foul. And we badly need a score. Like I was in the mix, sort of. Perhaps McSorley can work something here with this O'Neill. Oh, well blocked. Excellent piece of defend there by the Dungan full by Kevin Mc McSorley. That certainly was an opportunity for Oma, but Sorley stood his ground really well. Stood up. And Paul O'Neill's shot was well charged down. Tim Gallon now. Mark Rogers flicks it on, but tries to find his county colleague, Jared Calvin. Once again, it's Gary McKenna clears. Al McSorley. Sorley. In fact, it's, it's Terry Gallagher. Gallagher dragged back by Hughes. Three in. Coming out to take the three off the drive with the tie. Nice decision. Nice start in over. And he got down to two points. Again, a not seven, but my not five. Should that not worry him too much if the Gant can hold on to this two point advantage at the half of the minute? Curry, I could send her field. 
Rory adds to it. Kieran Coulton. Coulton Eller forced to play the ball on the ground. Gets it for Kieran Cattle Locker. Locker with two defenders after him. Still Cattle Locker. Still under pressure. Gets the ball across. One of the goals. Well charged down with one of the fans. Fly hacked away. It'll be Jared Cavill and get this ball. Jared lifts it. Easily passed. That first challenge from Barry Ackles, but foul eventually. Gets his free. McGuire finally holds on to that one on the ground. Michael Hughes keeping a close eye on that. Ireland gets it out again, but it's only as far as Cavan. And it sends his shot straight back in again, but to the left of the post. A great footed. Then it's Sorley and it's Paul Coulter who wins that ball away. Paul drags his shot. Way to the mark again. Very difficult breeze this to judge. Players having a lot of difficulty. Here again with the kick out. Out to this one, Jerry Calvin. Unbelievable as Kieran McCrory eventually wins it. Ball breaks and as Jared tries to lift it. Unsuccessful. Paul Tierney. Ball gets his free. Ball wasted. Kieran McCrory. Oh, excellent piece of feeling there by Gary McKenna. Gary can't find an Oma player, however. It's John McNulty who wins it for Dungannon. John on his feet. Stephen Ruddy, first touch for Stephen. Not a highly successful one, however, and it breaks to Terry Gallagher. Gallagher, that's a dangerous ball. It's Michael O'Neill who gets in behind the Dungannon defence momentarily. Michael, that's a weak enough shot. Oh, and a bit of a mistake by Eddie McCurry. Manages to get it back to it again. Eventually. Eventually retrieves the situation. Gets a bit of a kick on the ground well, for his pains, but almost a tragic error for the Dungannon goalkeeper. Thanks to Gallagher, to McKenna. Kenna, that's a good high ball into Eccles. Eccles gets it. Oh, another good save, but it's going to break to O'Neill, is it? No! Just runs away from him. That's an excellent save by McCurry. But Paul O'Neill was ready to pounce, but the ball just wouldn't drop for him. Dungannon going to make another substitution now. Dominic McManaman. Gary takes it short to Gallagher. Gallagher. Good effort. And that's the second point for Terry Gallagher and a very important one for Oma. Now there's only a point between the teams. Dominic McManaman comes in. It's a first kick Eddie's had, had so far and it falls to Terry Gallagher. Gallagher ever dispossessed. Comes to Doran. Doran now. Hands call for a long pass, but get one. Maybe McDade's ball. McDade says he wants to play with a football. Gives out to Gary McKenna. McKenna left footed. And McNulty underneath this ball for Dungana. Wins it. Three players round him, three only players round him. Does get forward Kevin McSorley. Sorley now. Surely that's a foul, yes, it's Michael Hughes. Into the final three and a half minutes now. Drew Kelman with this kick. 65 metres out from the Oma goal. Mark Rogers makes a run, but Drew decides to send it in long. Where Kieran Houghton gets it, but Kieran can't take advantage of the opportunity. 
to Dominic McManama. Dominic gets the ball under control. Eventually gets it in. Stephen Ruddy. Ruddy toe to hand. Finds his captain McNulty. Sean now. Gets inside Eccles. Left footed shot. That's an excellent score for McNulty. A real captain's point. Certainly eases the pressure on Dungannon now. See if that score now can lift his team. Ball breaks in the middle of the field. Tiger can Cavlin involved in the challenge. Michael Hughes decides he wants to hop the ball. Gonna throw this one up between McCrory and Taggart. McCrory wins it. Out to Ruddy. Ruddy, Ruddy retains possession. His kick, however, is blocked down. Now McSorley, oh, but it's Beaten by his own man, Niall McSorley. What a pushing and shoving now. Joy Calvin eventually will take this kick. Sets the ball down, takes his time. And Jan obviously in no rush at this stage. Joy Calvin, plenty of movement up in front of him. That'll be Cahill Locker. Cal can't get that. In fact, it's Kieran Colton. Colton gets the ball. You're put, putting him under pressure. Now, Declan McGear. Jared Cavan. Mark Rogers. Mark Rogers gets the three. Perhaps a little fortunately. However, it'll be Jared Cavan to take the kick. To the last minute now. That's an excellent kick from Jared. Just slides to the his the right of the post as he sees it. But at this stage now, as long as Dungannon can keep the ball inside the Omaha half, they'll be quite content. And Michael Hughes calls for the ball. It's all over, and Dungannon have won the minor title. Dungannon not eight, Oma not six. Well, the man beside me with uh, the big smile on the face is John McNulty, captain of the Dungannon team. John, you're delighted, obviously. At what stage during the match did you think you were going to win the cup? Well, Brandon, I don't think at any stage that we thought we were going to win it, because even at the end, I heard someone saying there was four minutes left. So, as I've seen, we were up at the home game versus Cal Island, and they thought they had it won maybe with four minutes to go. So, actually, I never thought it was over. And it wouldn't have been safe to maybe there was four points in it, so they couldn't have got a score. You must be pleased with the overall team performance. There were some very good individual performances, and in fact, your own point was vital as well towards the end. Well, yeah, but I think really the whole team was superb, as in the championship this year, we have been good. And maybe our cornerback and our centre half, Ali Donnelly and James Dorn, they've been superb all year, and they never let us down the day either. And it's just great, everybody performed to their ability, and we lifted her there now. So it's time to celebrate now, John. Time to celebrate, all right. Damien, at half time you were saying that it was going to be tight, but you felt Dungannon were getting on top, and that's how it proved. Uh, yes, Dungannon run out winners, all right, but with young McCrory at middle of the field, and Dorn, who I thought was man of the match at centre half back, uh, played great in the second half for Dungannon, but Oma had their chances, and if they had it taken their chances, and then yet little Oliver Donnelly came into the game, and he saved Dungannon on two occasions. Oma could have won, won the match if they had it took, taken their scores. But uh, overall, I think uh, it, it was slightly disappointing. The wind was, was spoiling it a bit, and the surface seemed a bit slippery. Yeah, they say it seemed to be slippy on top from the, the shear earlier on. But uh, Dungannon proved that they're good county champions, and I think all's well for the future for their senior team.